Well, having... <laughs> Everybody, come on. Having yes. a cold is no fun. It's all it's gone through the whole house here. It's incredible. So especially when you have a persistent cough. A what? Can be persistent cough. <laughs> Shit, too much of Road that warrior. Uh, we're here to sh uh, here to show all of us the natural way to soothe that scratchy throat is Sophie. Yeah. Hi, so Sophie. Sophie, we desperately need something to soothe our coughs. Yes. yes. Coughs. But we um, yeah. there's so many cough drops and oh. all that. Why make your own? Why yeah. not just go? <laughs> yeah. Well, I oh, sneeze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, while sucking, while while sucking on the cough drop, which is delicious, by the way. Mm. Good, good. You know, why I like to make my own mark mm. is because store-bought mm. bought cough drops can contain artificial sweeteners, dyes, and flavorings, right. and of course. I should have known that. I've known you a long time. Yeah. I should have known that. Sometimes. I like to avoid all that, but also more importantly, if you make your own, you can include some very potent herbs. Like what, Sophie? Let me show you. So the first herb is called the elderberry. Now, it's these little berries here. These ones are dried. And the elderberry is very powerful. It's been used for hundreds of years by indigenous cultures for treating upper respiratory uh, issues, such Could as coughs and colds and flu. Could you use that as a tea too to help soothe your Yes, throat? you can make a tea, tea. Oh. absolutely, a medicine, okay. whatever. Okay. All right. What other? And um. the second one is called slippery elm. Now this is a powder. It's powdered from the bark of the slippery elm tree, which is a tree that's indigenous to North America. I feel Shirley. like I'm listening oh. to a fairy tale right oh. now. Shirley. <laughs> the brain. But, but even better, hear this. So slippery elm powder is mucilaginous. What does oh that mean? Oh my God. <laughs> you like them to can't make them like all these big together. words. What does that no, mean? Mucilaginous means that it forms Mucus a gel-like coating oh. on the inside of your throat. So it's really okay. good at home if you have a sore throat or if you've got a very dry cough. Mm. Okay. okay. Where do you find slippery elm? You can find slippery elm and the elderberries online. You buy them in bulk from online help and they're very, mm. very inexpensive and very easy to find. Okay, so how okay? do we make? This is how you make it. It's like making can. Now, what does it taste like? By the way, oh, I haven't tried one yet. Mm -hmm. I, I They're actually waiting. like little oh, caramel, so candy. really tasty. It tastes like candy. Yeah, yeah, it does. Really good. So the first thing that I did here was I simmered a third of a cup of the dried elderberries in two cups of water for about half an hour, and then I strained it off. Alex, as you would know, these little culinary mm -hmm. things. So I've got the elderberry juice right here, all ready to go. Now the next thing, in this saucepan here, you want to use a heavy bottom saucepan because we're going to be bringing it up to a very high heat. It's like candy making. So in here, I have one and a half cups of honey. Now to that, I am going to add the elderberry juice. And then I'm going to add the, what is this everybody? Slippery, Slippery, elm. Slippery, when wet. Slippery elm. And then I'm going to add some vitamin C powder, ah, just to give it that it. extra kick. Vitamins. And vitamin C or vitamin no. C, obviously very good for the immune system. Yeah. So this is also a flu remedy as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk it up really good. And then I have a candy thermometer here. Now, it's not absolutely necessary to have a candy thermometer. You can just boil it very high for about 30 to 40 minutes. But but useful because what you want to do is make sure this temperature comes up to 300 degrees. Ooh, that's hot. And Wait, can I ask a question? Yeah. It, 30 to 40 minutes is awfully long. Won't it evaporate it's, it, no. at, a, at a high boil? It doesn't. Why? You have it at a very, very high boil because it's sugar. It, it, and it's how the sucrose breaks down. Okay. And actually, you can boil it for an hour. Will it come like a syrup, really thick it, but syrup? Let me show you. Okay. So it, yeah. it comes. I, and actually, in, in candy making, it's known as the hard crack stage. Okay. All right, now we've got it to this right here, Christina. And can you see? It's like oh, a very thick yes. syrup. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I see. and it'll bubble. Now, for those of you at home, if you have children, this, it, it gets so hot. This is not a kid's fun activity. Mm -hmm. This can be very dangerous. You can really burn yourself. What are the benefits, by the way, as you're doing that? You're just gonna fill that? Yeah, let not? me just show you. This okay. is, I have a silicon candy mold here, mm -hmm. and I really recommend you do, use a silicon one because it's very easy you to could pop it take them out. The heat? Could it take the intense And heat? it can absolutely okay. take the intense heat. All right. So I'm just gonna fill each of these. Mark, the benefits are, you know, studies have been done about the elderberry, that it actually reduces the duration of a cold and flu by three days. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And then let me just show you. So, oh. 
Do what you I've put done, it in the refrigerator? Okay. You don't put it in the refrigerator. For you at home, you're going to leave these for about an hour to set. Then when you're done, look how easily pop they just out. pop out. They're great. <gasps> and then you have a little rose <laughs> shape. Yeah. And you can do all sorts of little whatever shapes you want. Yeah. And the thing that I love is kids love them mm -hmm. better than oh, taking right, cough medicine. Yeah. And the other thing, if you can just come in here and see, right here, I just actually sprinkled some of them with a the slippery elm to keep them from sticking. Or you could put a little little bit of sugar to help the medicine go down. <laughs> so you're like this Mary Poppins. Really <laughs> I need the most candy. It. So to get this recipe, please visit our website page. Mm. And for more all natural health ideas, you can check out Sophie's website too. All right, get ready. We're up next, hypnotist Ricky Kalman. That's right, guys. I'm so excited. In just a few moments, I'm going to talk about hypnosis, how you can use it, especially right before New Year's. But I'm going to show you how powerful it is for entertainment and how much fun we're going to have with some of our family and friends. So come right back. Check it out.